Contains no calcium, so you might want to grab some milk. Warning, Scary Squirrel is based on a character by Melanie Watt. And done. <laughs> Holy Hades hot sauce. Ooh, sounds blazy. That's why every level is equipped with a super spray cola grenade in case of fire. <laughs> Take it down right now. It's not too high. I measured it. Don't care. But it's completely safe. I even followed the blueprint. Down, 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 down. I think he wants you to take it down. Nestor, why are you always cramping my stacking style? I don't need a reason. I'm in charge. Down. That is the third display today he's made me take down. <laughs> I know. I'm upset too. <gasps> You think I should march into his office and say something? Really? Help! Wow! Help! Wow! That doesn't even make sense. Ah, you drank the hot shot! Stay right there! Just a few more seconds, buddy! Here we go! It's too powerful! How you doing? Me too. Yeah, you should probably do that. <laughs> Nestor never, ever, ever, ever lets me create the displays I want. That's not right. You think that's wrong, right? Which do I want, what? If I was in charge, there'd be no limits put on creativity. None! Scary. Fingers are just hand toes. That was weird. Like a fish out of water, fresh from the slaughter, but one way or another. What happened? I lost my singing gig at the underwater cabaret because the new waitress scared away the customers. I like my baked potatoes with sour cream and chive and bubbles underwater. Let me know I'm alive! I was finally getting a taste of fame. I've been playing this corner for three days and all I've made is 45 cents and a button! Hey! Where's the button? Look like chocolate. We gotta blame the button on this one. Oh, Sally! I know where you can sing! It's perfect! Where? 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 Together we can show Nestor how great things can be when true creativity is unleashed! Dave, grab the piano. I'll be... right... Behind! Ah, smells like old button. And people love music, right? People love it, love it, music! Happiness! Singing and dancing might do the trick, but you can't do that without music! Music! There you go. Yeah, okay. Be careful with that, you striped stink bomb! And give me back my button! Ow! I like her style! She's hired! She even sing about the specials of the day or something! Goody, 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 goody! Mrs. Nestor's mother, I would like to be in charge of the musical entertainment at the store! No way! Scaredy's in charge of the fish! But mother! Oh, okay, Scaredy, you're the boss. What kind of music should I play? Creativity is never the enemy, Sally. You just go do what you do. Women don't want diamonds or a single flower. If you want to love, buy us milk that's sour. Not another song! You best be She's great! Watch out! Very creative! Thank you for shopping here! Thank you for shopping here. Oh, fruitons, dry chunks, oh, old bread, gotta have them fruit. Thank you, Nick. Whoops. 
seat up, she needs some... Hey, talk! You gotta stop! Huh? We don't care what you forgot! You've got three seconds to get out or I will whip us out! Three! Oh, help! Two! <laughs> Check out that creativity! Customers should never be treated badly. Not even in song? No! I'm gonna talk to Sally about it because... <gasps> You're gonna cramp her style? Crush her creative soaring? No, but I'm in charge, so if I think something's wrong, I have to say something. Like Nestor does to you. Yes, like Nestor does to... <gasps> That is what Nestor does to me! I rest my case. What case? <laughs> I've been carrying that around for months. Totally worth it. Okay. Scary. I made the grocery section of the Balsa Babbler! Wow, that's... They have a grocery section? A fish-tastic display of rage that creates an honest shopping experience! I'm famous! Good for you! They're calling me the Harsh Angel. Oh, that is so cute! <laughs> Gotta get back to work now! Sally! Oh, thank you, I'm here. You're welcome! My first song is called You Put the You in Customer. Well, that sounds nice enough. See you, customers, customers. See you are important to us. Oh, gee, without you, why would we be gee? I don't know. You see why you must be customers. Cow, in or out, you are making me crazy. <gasps> oh, no, I have to do... Nestor. What? Nothing. I have to do nothing. <laughs> you are making me crazy. Were you raised in a barn? Actually, I was. I grew up on a farm. Get away from the doors or I'll go totally demonic. I'm just here to buy some milk and I'm aware that's ironic. Move! Move! Give me those tomatoes. This will not end well. Quick! Somebody do <laughs> nothing! buy some groceries. Oh, that's right. It's a store. I'm proud of you. Sally's hurting people and probably very bad for the store, and you're doing nothing. Yep. <laughs> I should get to work, which is in the same direction Sally went, but that's just a coincidence. Talk to you later, Dave! <laughs> Sally, do you think that mocking customers is the best way to bring up sales? But the audience loves me, and... What about spitting tomatoes at customers? Nice or not so much so? Scaredy. Are you asking me to stop being mean to customers? No, 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 not at all. I'm kind of confused, but I think that I will stop picking on the customers. I respect that decision, your decision, her decision. I respect it, and I didn't mess with her artistic integrity. <laughs> Butter, pickles, waffles in a can, carrots of cheese, and rhubarb jam. These are all on sale today, and that means less you'll pay. Hey! Oh! <laughs> it's been like this all morning. Ugly. <laughs> Here it comes! Full of lava! Spread your wings, Harsh Angel! I'm sorry, I made a promise to be nice to my customers. What? Baroo's apples are the best apples, so that's... Oh, I guess she doesn't want to be famous after all. Uh, but I do! I do want to be famous! <laughs> oh, boy. Sounds like she's about to lay into someone. <laughs> no, sir. I don't think she will. Nestor's mean won't give anyone a chance. He ah. thinks he's the boss, but his mama wears the pants! What? Stop that! Shout all you want, you can't scare me. Everyone knows you have no authority. Bobby. It's okay, Scaredy. I'm still being nice to the customers. <laughs> Nestor works here. Shattered walnuts! <laughs> I can't let her mop the staff, Dave. I have to do something. 
outsoaring creativity. The donkey, of course, is just a boring horse. <laughs> no one should cry at a grocery store. It's a place of nourishment and fun. I have to stop it. Scary. You swore you wouldn't. What's with all the crying? You're right, Dave. I swore I wouldn't. Knock it off! You're making a puddle in front of the doors. This is Nestor's mother. Sally's refusing to play songs about the specials of the day. What? She says that no one can tell her what to do. No one? We'll see about that. How do you like me now, huh? Huh? Say my name. Ash Angel! Ash Angel! Ash Angel! I am famous! Fish! My office! Now! now! Your office when I feel like it! Ha! What did you just say? Mama's mean to everybody because she owns the place, terrorizing her employees with a crazy bird face. <laughs> I'm wearing gloves on my feet. Eh, I guess a lot of people are misunderstood. down again? Today's not your birthday. It's Groundhog Day! The magical day when Balsa City Brian searches for his shadow. That's disappointing. Sorry, did you want a piece of hat? Mm. Welcome, citizens, to another ridiculous holiday that I'm not sure I understand. And depending on whether Brian sees a shadow or not, we'll either have more winter or an early spring. I'm prepared either way. SPF 5000 for an early spring and an igloo building kit for more winter. Yeah? Well, I'm ready too. Winter, spring. But you just ripped off. What if he predicts? Either way, you're not wearing pants. True that. And now, the moment perhaps someone cares about. Balsa City Brian! <laughs> That's a, that's a sh a sh shadow, I guess. He's our shadow! And that means more winter! Or the other one. Can't remember. Can you believe this is actually a holiday? I wonder why we never see Brian around the rest of the year. Ooh! Groundhog Day ground beef tacos, with or without shadow! He sure looked sad this year, and more terrified than usual. You're right! We should go find out what's wrong. That's not what I said! Who, who, who is it? Hi, I'm Scaredy Squirrel. And I'm his lovable sidekick, Dave, often referred to as the audience favorite. Why do you have to do Please this? Please go away. Hey, there's nothing to be afraid of. Uh, <laughs> wow. Well, I guess he just wants to be left alone. Come on, Dave, let's... Bunchers! What? He'll love us. Also, that wasn't me. Pain. Brian? <laughs> ah, we're not gonna hurt you. We're here to help you. <laughs> Why don't we see you round Sepha Groundhog Day, huh? Huh? Everything out there scares me. Sidewalk cracks, minor injuries, germs. You wouldn't understand. My friend, you remind me of a certain squirrel who was once too afraid to leave his nut tree. It was a simpler time, but for our hero, it was a scarier time. Beep pop 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 beep
That never happened. But your flashback was boring and had zero robots. The point is, I learned how to handle my fears. And now I can teach you to do the same thing. I don't know. You sound scary. It's just like pulling off a bandage. It might hurt at first, but then... Ouch! <laughs> Why would you? <laughs> Stings! Pain just isn't going away. I'm good. I'm good. Operation No Fear starts now! Not my home. Not my home. Not my home. Look, Brian, the outside world isn't terrifying if you have this. <laughs> what is it? Scaredy Squirrels Patented Safety Kit. Some rights reserved, fair use only, patent pending. Oh, for rock climbing. Nah, paper cut prevention. Reading is dangerous. This safety kit is filled with all sorts of things that make the world way less scary. Like a fire extinguisher, caution tape, oven mitts. Why would you do this to me? This is gonna take some work. Montage! <laughs> I feel reinvigor, g g vigor, uh, 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 pretty good. Whoop, whoop, raise the roof, dog. We don't do that anymore. Mayor, mayor, I'm the mayor. Sorry, theme song. <laughs> what is he doing outside? I taught Brian to face his fears and- You what? <laughs> Don't you know Brian is a rare Athabascan shadow-loving groundhog? If he's exposed to moonlight, he'll transform into the most hideous beast the world has ever known! Right. That's why I'm afraid to leave my house. The Geo Weather Orator 5000 says the moon rises at 6.39 tonight! There's still time! Let's go! <laughs> Yeah, funny story. I don't really have a watch. Mmm, timely. It's, it, 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 it's okay, guys. I'm actually feeling fine. <laughs> Seriously, I'm fine. <laughs> Hey, did I mention that Athabascan shadow-loving groundhogs have an insatiable hunger for wood? Did I mention that? What? Oh, the city is made entirely out of wood! What do we do, Mayor Runswell? I don't know. I'm off to get my beauty sleep. Lots of mayoring to do in the morning. Mayor, Mayor, I'm the sweet loving man! Okay, Dave. It looks like it's up to us. <laughs> or me. It looks like it's up to me. to the mustard factory. We've got to do something. Don't worry. I just came back for my special super duper emergency safety kit. Then I can face him squirlo at ground hog. Oh. In case of emergency, open gently. Who is it? What is my Aunt Beverly doing here? Dave, no! <laughs> At least I still have my safety kit. Ooh, tough luck. Let's see what's on TV. And the monster groundhog attack is yet another example of why building an entire city out of wood was a really, really bad idea. Without my safety kit, I'll never be able to stop him. I used to know a certain squirrel who would never give up. You're right, Dave. I can't give up. 
I was actually thinking of this guy, Doug. But how do I stop him? You told Brian to face his fear of fears. Now it's your turn to turn your face and face your fear of fearful Brian's face. Okay, not only did that make no sense, it's exactly right! The only way to frighten fear itself is with fear itself! You coming? No way. That guy scares the stink out of me. <laughs> Exhibit A. Here, terrifying groundhog thing. Here, boy. <laughs> Come in. Get me. <laughs> Ooh, potential paper cut. Painful in an annoying way. Couldn't have been good. Brian, I think we both learned a lot about facing our fears, and that's... Well, I... I'm sure someone learned a lesson. Well, I learned that a mustard watch is useless. Okay, well, I, I guess... I guess that's a good lesson. But not a ketchup clock! Dave, don't... <laughs> It's Scary Squirrel Safety Corner. Scary's in a corner and he's safe. We explored a lot of fears today. Some were real, most weren't. Some real fears included... Reading! No, Dave, there's no real danger in reading. No real danger means potential danger. No, that's not what I... Don't risk it! Beware the book! Dave, reading is an important... Danger! Danger! Ow, danger! Ow, danger! Ow, I think you're sending the ow! Wrong ow! Mess it! Ow! Oh, sorry, out of time. Here come the credits. Don't read them. <laughs> <laughs>